sound is clear is it clear one no disturbance right right so today's topic we are going to discuss about your lenses okay so first of all let me uh, go through the summary what are the things which you are going to study okay then after that uh, i'll give one by one okay so we'll discuss the summary what are the things which you are going to discuss first of all we'll see what are the lenses okay so we'll see the construction of the lenses okay what is the construction how it works okay and as well as we'll discuss about your working okay so once we've gone through it and after that we'll see some uh, uh, rays passing through the lenses so how the rays are passing through it and uh, from where it is passing through it how it is refracted everything we'll discuss it. okay so we'll discuss here in this case we'll discuss divergence we'll discuss in this divergence and as well as your convergence okay we'll discuss your divergence and as well as your convergence then after that we'll discuss some rules okay so rules including your sign conventions also the same sign conventions we have discussed in your mirrors also for convex and as well as your concave, concave and depends upon those rules we are doing the problems same thing here also there are some rules also we'll discuss it once we gone through the lenses we have to study how the light ray is passing through it okay there is a topic called refraction there is a topic called refraction okay once we gone through the refraction what is the relation between the refraction and how the light rays are passing through the lenses and what are the points everything we'll discuss it okay so refraction is really important and after that we'll discuss about the laws of refraction laws of refraction okay in this last there are two two types are there two laws are there we'll discuss that laws and as well as we'll do some examples also okay so this are the structure so uh, once we gone through these stages after that we are going to discuss about your ray diagrams okay so ray diagrams we'll discuss okay these are the summaries what are the things which are going to discuss today okay so let's see one by one first of all you have to understand what is a lens lens is nothing but a transparent medium okay so even though you can say that uh, lenses lenses there are two types of lenses are there one is your convex and one is your concave concave and convex okay these are the two lenses basically these lenses we are powering it out on you are we are using as a spectacles okay so to uh, see the longer objects nearby or nearby objects magnified we are using these lenses and there are some concepts are there we'll discuss that point like focus here also we'll discuss the focus here also we'll discussing about the power of lenses and how it is getting magnified everything we are going to discuss it okay let's see that so the structure shape of this concave and sls at convex and try to understand that this concave and convex similar to your mirrors only so you already know what is a concave so when you say concave it is like curved inward direction this is your concave okay remember it is your curved inwards this is your concave we have discussed in your mirrors right same thing when you are discussing about the convex uh, remember concave it is bulged inward direction okay it is bulged in so when you are discussing about the concave it is bulged outside it is bulged outside so this one is your convex which you have discussed in your mirror and as well as concave we have discussed in your mirrors okay now so in this lenses so the refraction that is what are the light ray it is passing so it will try to pass through it it will really, the light ray will try to pass through it the, the topic we call it as a refraction okay there is a content we call it as a refraction so in mirrors we have discussed about the reflection concept now we are discussing about the refraction okay refraction is nothing but your bending of light refraction is nothing but your bending of light when the light ray passes from one medium to other medium what will happen the light ray will try to bend okay so in this case only we are going to discuss about the two different mediums one is your concave medium and one is celestial convex those are nothing but your lenses so with respect to the lenses how the light ray is passing through it how it bends those cases we are going to discuss okay let's see that first we'll see the structure So in this concave, as I said that, so this is your mirror. So one side it is your bending, and other side that is your reflecting point, and other side it is your uh, coated area. Same thing for your convex also. One side it is your reflecting surface, and other side is your coated surface. This is your mirrors, convex, and as well as your concave. Now what we are doing is we are just going to see your lens. So the refraction will be happening. The refraction will be happening when the light ray passes through it. So that means the light has to transmit it. So it is a transparent medium. Okay. Let's see the convex first of all. 
So if you see that, if you see that this is your convex. So it is bulged in both the sides. It is bulged on both the sides. Okay, bulged on both the sides. So there'll be there'll be a reference point. Okay, so at the center. So this this point, the center point. Okay, so where these two uh, rays are meeting. Okay, the rays, everything will be there. One minute, I'll take the eraser point. Yes. Okay. I'll take the dotted lens like this. So this is a reference frame. Whatever the lens we are discussing here, whatever the lens or whatever the uh, distances which you are going to study, it is from the optical center. Okay. As we discussed, as we discussed in your mirrors, so we I told you a uh, center point where it is cutted by the principal axis. Those point we call it as a port. That point we call it as a port. Okay. In lenses, so there is a point. From that point only we are going to measure the distances. That point we call it as your optical center. We call it as your optical center. Okay, remember it. So this is your optical center, and this lens it is bulged in both the sides. We call it as your convex. Bulged on both the sides, we call it as your convex. And as well as one more thing called your concave. Concave. If you see that it is bulged on both the uh, that is your bulge inward direction on both the sides. It is like bulged inward direction like this. Assuming I'm just taking two lenses like this, that means the two reflecting surfaces, both are bulged, okay, inwards. So when you, these two are matched together, so it is nothing but your concave. So it is slim like structure, slim like structure like this. It is not like T shaped structure, just remember it. So it is similar to your mirror only, but both side concave structure will be there. It is your bulged inwards. Okay, so those are bulged inwards for concave, bulged outwards for your convex. This is your concave. And for this also, there will be an optical center. From the optical center only, the distances will be measured. I'll take it as your O point. O point is nothing but your optical center. Optical center. Okay, remember. So these are the two lenses. One is your concave or one is your convex. So there is a reference point will be there at the center. That point we call it as your optical center. Okay, this is your concave and as well as your convex. Now, so when you're discussing with the mirrors, we have discussed about the two things. One is your divergent and one more thing is your convergent. One is your divergent, one is your convergent. So when you're discussing with the mirrors, we have discussed concave is your convergent Concave is your convergent mirror. In mirrors, we are discussing. Concave is your convergent mirror. And convex is your divergent mirror. So that means when we are discussing about the light rays, all the right, right rays are meeting at the focus. This concave convergent mirror. Okay, so that means all the rays are meeting at the focus. So this is your real image which you found. It will be your real image. Okay, we already seen this point in your mirrors. And divergent, it is your convex. So I told you it is your virtual image. So will be formed within the mirror or behind the mirror. Okay, it is your virtual. Okay, so these are the mirrors. Now same thing, but slightly different from the mirrors. So what are the lenses we are discussing here? What are the cases we are discussing here? We are going to discuss. Everything will be quite opposite to the mirrors. Let's see. We'll try to understand it. Convergent as well as your divergent. So first of all, I'll discuss about your uh, convex. I'm taking convex. <coughs> Convex. We are going to discuss about your convergent rays. So we call it as your convergent rays. Let's see that. So first of all, before discussing about the convergence and divergence, you have to understand understand the definitions and as well as your notations from your lenses. You already know that when we are discussing about the mirrors, so there are some reference points are there. Like you already know that there is a reference point called pole, principal axis. principal axis then we have discussed about your focus center of curvature and radius of curvature <coughs> same thing here what i'm doing is i'm just allowing some rays okay so but before that first of all we'll discuss about your convex in this convex try to understand this so there are two structures are there so that means two types of uh, two bending portions are there so let's see for example for example for this convex, I'll take in different page and we'll discuss it. <coughs> Sorry. 
first of all we'll discuss about your uh, convex for this convex what i'll do i'll take only one section instead of both the sections i'll take only one section like this okay so it is it is equally divided that means from the center it will be equally divided okay let's see i'm taking one section so as we discuss one section what will happen there'll be a principal axis so if you see that this is a principal axis okay so and i told you for this lenses instead of taking the poles we are discussing about the optical center okay but when we are discussing only one side i'll take the pole itself okay remember always remember we have to start from the left side alone because we are placing objects everything towards your left side okay from the left side if you see that it is your first curve it is your first curve so for the first curve so there be a pole i'll take it as your p1 the be a pole i'll take it as your p1 and for this p1 so if you see that if you complete one complete cycle if you do one complete cycle what will happen there will be a center of curvature for this one okay so i'll take this one as a c1 and half of this center of curvature to the pole is nothing but your focus i'll take it as your f1 okay remember for the first curve for the first curve so the point where the principal axis meets i i'll tell you, I, I i took it as your p1 okay pole and as well as your uh, half of the spherical surface okay it is your c1 center of curvature and the distance from the pole to the center of curvature is nothing but your radius of curvature i'll take it as your r1 and the pole to the focus is nothing but your f1 that is your focal length okay this f1 is nothing but your focal length okay so we already know these cases in your mirrors okay now so now we already seen this so that's why here remember so everything i have taken it as p1 f1 c1 f1 and as well as r okay now we'll discuss about the second lens okay second lens that is your second curve okay second set curve imagine this is your second set curve okay so this is your second set curve i'm taking this section alone i'm just taking this section alone earlier we have taken this section now we are taking this section now for this section for the second section for the second section so the second curve is meeting the principal axis this point i'll take it as your pole p2 this point i'll take it as your pole p2 for the pole p2 also if you complete one spherical one complete spherical what will happen it has its own center of curvature i'll take it as your c2 and as well as it has its own focal length i'll take it as your f1 okay remember it i'll take it as your f1 and as well as your f2 okay let's see that so here here in this case there are two curves are there so first spherical surface and as well as your second spherical surface okay for the first spherical surface we'll discuss about your focus and as well as your center of curvature for the second spherical surface also we'll discuss about the focus and as well as your center of curvature okay remember it and one more thing we know that the radius of curvature is equal to your focus into your two times so that means the radius of curvature is equal to two times of your focus that means the distance will be your focal length two times of your focal length is nothing but your radius or else we can take instead of your radius instead of your radius that radius is nothing but your center of curvature so when you are discussing with the lenses we won't take the radius we'll take your focus that means here if you see that it is your focus f1 this will be your focus 2f1 so two times of f1 is nothing but your radius of curvature or we can say it as a center of curvature same thing here also towards your left side so it is your focus f2 because it is a second curve okay so it is a first curve or second curve so it is your f2 and it is your c2 instead of c2 you can write it as your 2f2 you can write it as your 2f2 remember these points okay now so now we'll discuss about your convex convex it is your optical center for the first curve if you see that so the the distance is c1 and as well as f1 it will be towards your right side so i'll take the point like this so assuming this is your f1 and this will be your c1 i told you c1 is nothing but your two times of your f1 because it is twice the radius okay two times of your f1 okay so it is your radius center of curvature is nothing but your radius and radius divided by 2 is nothing but your focal length we already discussed from the optical center this is your focal length i'll take it as a small f1 everything towards your left side right as uh, sorry right side so because of the first spherical surface okay remember it i'll take it as your f1 c1 okay r1 remember it and instead of center of curvature i can write it as your two times of your f1 okay because f1 is the smallest portion in the radius of curvature okay it is your first section let's see towards the second one when i'm discussing about the second one here also what will happen there will be a focus i'll take it as a f2 and as well as the center of curvature i'll take it as a c2 
this C2, I can write it as your 2 times of your F2. Okay, it will be your 2 times of your F2. Let's see the distances. From the focus to the optical center, I'll take the area of focal length. Okay, center of curvature to the uh, optical center, I'll take it as your R1. I'll take it as your R1. Remove it. So instead of C2, I can write it as your 2F2. So these are your notations or we can say the definitions. Distance from the optical center to the center of curvature is R1. Distance from the optical center to the focus is nothing but area of fun. Okay. And uh, remember, towards your right side is 1. Okay. You can consider like this. Towards your right side is 1. Towards your left side, it will be 2. Okay. Remember. So, if you have any doubt, let me know. That. These are your notations. What are the symbols are there? What are the uh, reference points are there? We have got it. Okay. These are the points. Now, what I'm doing is I'm just allowing some parallel lines. Okay, if people say that when the light rays are parallel to the principal axis, what will happen? It will try to bend and meet at the focus. Same thing here, same point. Okay, now what I'm doing is I'm just taking some lines. Okay, so these lines are parallel to the principal axis like this. I'm just taking some random points on both ends. Okay, remember it now. These are your, these are your lines. So, or we can say it as your instant ray, or we can say your rays from the source. Okay, input rays from the source. These are nothing but your instant rays. After striking the lens, what will happen? So, it will try to bend. So, I told you it is nothing but your bending of light. Bending of light is nothing but your refraction. So, refraction of light will be your bending of light from one point to other point when it is moving. Okay, what will happen? It will try to bend and it will try to meet at the focus. Like this. Okay, remember it, ma? Try to bend and meet at the focus. Like this. So that means all the rays are meeting at the focus. So this one we call as your convergent rays and we call the topic called your convergence. These rays we call as a convergent rays. All are having specific direction. We'll try to refract it and meeting at the focus. Remember it one. It is your convex. Let's see. We'll try to see about your concave also. Any doubt? Please let me know. Sir, no, no. these are little bit confusing. Why, ma? Yes, let me know. Then. What are the topics? What are your doubt points? Tell me that. I'll clear it now itself. Instead of knowing, no, no, sir, but a little bit confusing. You know mirror, right? Yes, sir. What is a mirror? Sir, it shows a reflection. What? Sir, which shows our reflection. Which shows our reflection. Okay. Now, have you seen uh, what is the uh, like uh, color of the mirror? Color. Sir, color. Sir, colorless. Colorless. But still, what we are doing is we are painting it silver. With Silverish color. Yes. So when you paint with silver, what will happen? You can able to clearly see the image of yourself or any object. Correct, ma? Right. Now remember, when you are discussing about the mirror, okay, it is one time. It will try to reflect backward direction. That's it. Correct. But. Here, when we are allowing a light, for example, if you take a transparent glass or transparent medium, like a window, okay, you have the laser pointer. When you project it, what will happen? It will try to pass through it, correct? It will try to pass through it, right? So, you try to pass through it, what will happen? It will try to reflect backward direction. It will try to reflect backward direction, correct? When it's reflecting backward direction, so what will happen? Angle of incidence and angle of reflection both are same. That is your mirror. But in this transparent, what will happen? So it will be transparent glass. You can able to see through it. So these are your transparent glasses, transparent mediums. Okay. Now, when you're projecting your light ray, what will happen? It will try to pass through it, but it will try to bend it. That bending of light only, we are discussing it as your refraction. Same thing, remember, when you're merging two lenses, uh, two mirrors together. Okay. So whether it is concave or whether it is con convex. So it is nothing but your lens. Clear one? Two side convex and as well as a concave. So it is nothing but your lenses. Clear? Any doubt? Okay, sir. Uh, con lenses are a mixture of two uh, uh, mirrors, sir. 
two minutes it's for your understanding i i said the construction i'm just sir, telling the construction yes ma'am sir like if we keep one side of concave and one side of convex yeah there are different type of lenses are there actually there are three types of lenses are there i mean as i said that convex and concave in this convex and concave also there are three types are there three types are there plano oh. is there. concave or convex is there convex or concave is there there are different types are there. we'll discuss that part right so yeah. these type of lenses we call it as a biconvex lens biconvex biconvex so that means both side the structure is con convex both side the structure is convex we call it as a biconvex now i now it's a fell deliver there are three types of your lenses okay so basically convex and concave only convex and concave only these are the two types of your lenses so this again will be split into your three types lenses convex and as lesser concave clear ma under this convex also under this convex also we will discuss three types first one we'll discuss about your uh, plane plano convex okay next one biconcave biconvex and concave or convex okay so here concave under concave we'll discuss again plano concave plano biconcave next one biconcave yes i'll show you the convex or concave concave yes my exact so i'll show you the uh, pictures i'll show you the structures how it will be remember we already know what is a lens it is nothing but your refraction of light now what i'm doing plane or convex that means one side it will be plane one side it will be flat one side it will be concave that's it the name itself it shows one side flat you you know about the plane mirror right same thing plane or convex so that means first one it will be structure like this one side it will be plane and one side it will be your curve like this Okay, this one we call it as your plano convex. We call it as your plano convex. Remember, if I any doubt in this, it is your no. plano. One side it is flat. One side it is your curved structure. No, sir. No. no. Next one, we'll discuss about your biconvex. Biconvex means both side it will be your curved surfaces. That means both side it will be your convex. Both sides it will be your convex like this. And you can draw a reference line for your understanding. so where the, this will be equally split like this okay equally split like this this one we call it as your biconvex lens sir what is the difference between convex and biconvex lens sir same thing what are the lenses we are discussing here these are nothing but biconvex okay sir okay, okay sir what are the lenses we are discussing here these are nothing but biconvex remember convex is nothing but a magnifying glass correct yes sir yes sir have you seen the magnifying glass So, if you like, for example, if you take this one, it is also biconcave, sir. What, ma? It is also biconcave. Biconvex. Ah, uh, biconvex. Biconvex. Remember, when you're taking a magnifying glass, just remove the frame. Just remove the frame. When you place that magnifying glass on a plane of sheet paper, what will happen? You can able to see that it is slightly bending, like a U shape. Okay. So when you see that, you can clearly see the structure. Okay, so that means it will be try to bend on both the sides. That is your convex, biconvex. That means both side it will be uh, like a bending portion will be there. Both side it will be bended. So that is your biconvex. Remember it. Okay, same thing. Remember when there is no bending at one side, we call it as a plano convex. And same thing, concave convex means concave convex. One side it will be concave, one side it will be convex. So the structure will be like this. so if you see that one side it will be your convex okay and one side it will be your concave like like half moon like structure half moon like structure it will be one side concave will be there and one side convex sir okay. are there ray diagrams for plane or convex and no, the no, third no 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 you have only by convex Focus. only by convex you just remember by convex and remember what are the lenses even i i am using the lenses right so these are like slim lenses these are slim lenses you can able to see that these are slim lenses there are some lenses are there so much thicker 
the thick lens we call it as your convex lenses okay the power will be different and compared to your concave and convex i'll show you i'll tell you all the cases and uh, i'll show you the pictures also okay and as well as i'll i'll show you some uh, ray diagrams also okay when the light ray is passing i'll bring and we'll, we'll have small little demo after seeing the videos okay step by step we'll go any doubt let me know that, okay so these are the three types of your convex same thing in your concave also first one is your flat that is your plano concave so it is a flat then after that you are going to discuss about your concave like this this thin structure i told you already it is thin structure but one side it is curved this is your plano concave clear no next one when we are discussing about the biconcave so biconcave means a both side it will be your concave both side it is bulge inwards both side will be bulge inwards like this. like for example just for your understanding i'm just trying like this slightly it will be it will be there at the edges and uh, here thinner or we can say it has a bulge at the edges and thin at the okay center so you can see that it is thin it is thin at the center so but still these are your concave on both ends it is your biconcave lens so on convex to concave so when you say the convex to concave so one side it will be your concave okay and other side will be your convex like this okay convex to concave just understand it you won't get any questions on this just for your info only i am giving you there are different type of lenses and one more thing some lenses are like uh, merged together so if you if you seen any old people okay because of the age factor what what they are doing they are using two lenses together you may have seen that so half of the part like a curved structure like this yes sir yes sir my father has that structure yes so that means both convex and concave will be there for them what will happen if you remove the lenses so longer distances and as well as nearby objects they cannot able to clearly see them it is because purely because of the age factor okay because of the age they can see the objects okay blurred way okay so to avoid that only so to give that visibility in both the cases they are using two lenses merged together convex and as well as your concave you can check it so one will be magnified one will be far away distances can see that clear okay so there are different types of lenses we'll discuss now clear ma so these are your lenses convex and as well as concave it is like a glass now that's it when i can show you a glass small glass like curved on both ends that's it clear any doubt yes sir clear super no okay satik what about you Mm. Okay. Now what I'm doing is I'm just taking your lens. I'll explain you again. Try to understand that. So when I say the mirror, I told you the sign conventions: left side and as well as out, uh, right side. Left side and as well as right side. Same case here also. So it is your left side. It is your right side. I'm just explaining you again the again that focus center of curvature those things. remember instead of taking the two lenses that means two side lenses i'll take only one side remember when we are discussing about the one side we'll start with the left side because we are placing the object towards your left side itself okay from the left side to the optical center okay remember it so i'm taking a lens here so this is your convex lens it is your convex lens remember it it is your convex lens now what i'm doing is i'm just placing i'm just placing okay uh when you complete it i'm just completing the spherical surface like this when i do complete the spherical surface what will happen they'll be having some center of curvature and as well as a radius right correct so it is your first spherical surface and i told you already when we are discussing about the uh, point where the where the lens are the mirror okay which is meeting at the principal axis this point we call it as your pole and because it is towards the left side it is your first one i'll take as your pole p remember it for the spherical surface there will be center point i'll take this one as your center of curvature c and as well as there will be a focus right i'll take it as your focus here clear ma any doubt in this center of curvature no, no doubt and as well as your focus is not doubt okay no doubt sir so because we are discussing about the first lens first curve i'll take it as your f1 as you okay and from the optical center to the focus i'll take it as your focal length 
focal lens and optical uh, uh, optical center to the center of curvature i'll take it as your radius okay so remember it for focal length and radius focal length and radius both are related to each other i told you already radius divided by 2 is the body of focal length i'll take it as a smaller okay and the focal length into your 2 is equal to radius of curvature that radius of curvature is the body of center of curvature right so that means which is equal to your 2 times of your f1 right ma any doubt in this Center of curvature and taking it as your two times of your fun. Why? Because center of curvature to the focus, okay, it is your f by two, and focus to the center of curvature again, it is your f by two, correct? So f by two plus f by two is nothing but your radius of this. Is nothing but your radius. So this one is your radius. Okay, uh, radius. Uh, sorry, uh, I'll take it as your focus. My mistake. It is your focus, which is nothing but your radius by two. And here also, focus to the center of curvature, it is your radius divided by 2. Correct? So, r plus 2, r, r by 2, r by 2, what will happen when you do add it, it will be nothing but your r. That is nothing but your center of curvature. Okay? Remember it. And focus will be your r by 2. Right? So, that means if you want to find your r, r is nothing but your 2 times of your focus. r is nothing but your 2 times of your focus. That's why the center of curvature, instead of your radius, I told it as your 2 times of your focus. Clear, ma? Yes, sir. Sadhya and Sanket, any doubt, just let me know. No, no. Good. So now this is about your other curve, second curve. So this is the second curve. So ja I'm just drawing it. That's why the focus and all it is meeting here. Okay. Actually, it won't meet at all. Actually, it won't meet. I'll 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 erase. It. Just one minute, man. just one minute. Sanket, before I joined, what happened? Nothing, just tell the interruption about lenses. What happened? What are you people talking? Nothing, sir. I was asking before I joined, what happened? Nothing happened. The same thing is going on. That's it. Okay. So if it is there, I'll let you know that. Sure. Right, my any doubt so far in this? These are just structures. Okay. So if you see that the second case also, so what will happen? There'll be a pole. I'll take it as a P2. And for this P2, there'll be a focus. I'll take it as F2. For this F2, there'll be a center of curvature C2. So which is something for your two times of your F2 because the radius and center of curvature both are related to each other. Okay. So radius is equal to two times of your F. Okay. Remember it now. So two times of your focus. This is your lens. Only thing is, you have to add one more point. That's it, nothing else. Okay, now we'll discuss about your concave. Okay, any doubt so far in this? Now clear, right? So, can able to see that? What is your convergent rays in your lenses? What are the rays which are passing from the uh, parallel to the principal axis, which are passing parallel to the principal axis, what will happen? It is meeting at the focus, right? It is meeting at the focus. These rays we call as your convergent rays. Now clear one? That means when, when we are discussing about the mirror, so concave only convergent, but in lenses, convex is convergent. It is purely opposite to your mirror. Lenses, convex is convergent. Okay. And and the image, whatever the image we are discussing here, it creates your real image. Correct? Because it is refracted and it is meeting at the focus. So we call this your real image. Any doubt? If people want, you can take it. Or else I'll continue. Okay, let's see one more and then after the focus. Yes, ma'am, tell me. You can continue. I'll continue. Okay. 
I'll, I'll, I'll cover this slightly and we'll discuss about your concave also. I'll keep it here. Now I'll discuss about your concave. Same thing. Like this. And uh, both the sides, like a curved inward direction, like this. It is a first curve. Remember, it is a first curve. So when you say the first curve, this is nothing but your pole. I'll take this a P1. From the left, remember, for this concave, from the left, from the left, it will be your P1. So it will be your from the left. So that means if you see that, so towards the left, what will happen? The center of curvature will be there and as well as your focus also there. C1 and as well as your F1. C1 and as well as your F1. Now same thing. Same thing here also. What will happen? There'll be an optical center. So, and when you take a curve like this, what will happen here? So, again, there'll be a center of curvature. I'll take as your C2 and as well as your, uh, sorry, uh, it is your F2 and 2F2, that is your C2 and as well as your F2. So, this point we call it as a pole P2, and the center point is nothing but your optical center. Remember, it. two side curves will be there. Same thing, F1 will be there and F2 will be there. But remember, for convex, one spherical surface, if you see that, it will be uh, forming within the within the lens. That means the focus and as well as center of curvature. So if you see that, it is towards your left side. Okay, convex, it is towards your right side. It is here towards your left side. Just remember it, because the curve is showing towards the left. Okay, it is your convex one. Now, what will happen when we are allowing parallel to the principal axis? When we are allowing the rays parallel to the principal axis? Remember it. When we allow parallel to the principal axis, remember it. So it is not meeting at the focus. It is not bending at all, not meeting at the focus for concave alone. So convex, it is real only. So what will happen? It will not bend at the focus. So when it is passing through it, what will happen at one particular stage? Okay, what will happen at one particular place? It will try to refract. Okay, it will try to refract. So the refraction will be away from the focus. Refraction will be away from the focus like this. It is refracting, it is not reflecting at all, it is refracting. It is refracting away from the focus or away from the principal axis also you can measure. But when you refract it, the rays, whatever the rays are passing, what I'll do, I'll tracing out backward direction. When it tracing out backward direction, it will try to meet at the focus. When it trace it out backward direction, it will try to meet at the focus. Okay, remember it, ma? this rays, we call it as a divergent rays. That means from the focus only, the light rays are trying to travel. Okay, remember it is your focus, F1. Okay, just for your understanding, I'll take it as your F1. Remember it. So when the light rays are diverting away from the focus, we call it as your, we call it as your divergent rays. rays. Remember it. And see, uh, there's a power issue at my end. From morning okay so i got 19 percent left suppose if it disconnects just wait okay and uh, suppose if i'm not joining within five minutes huh, it'll stop here okay i'll send you the screenshots after that once power key. right ma? clear okay be, till it disconnects okay i'll explain you all the questions any doubt so far convex and concave convergence divergence uses no, applications no, are but your spectacles the applications are nothing but your spits and transparent glasses and magnifying glasses. Okay, these are your applications. Right. Any doubt so far? No, sir, no, sir. Remember, convex is your convergent, which forms your real image. Concave is your divergent, which forms your virtual image. I'll write here. Concave, divergent. Sir, okay. take screenshot now, sir, because it don't save after uh, it got. Uh, yeah. Yes, I saved in a PDF. Yes. I saved in PDF and I'll send it to you. Okay, no issues. Thank you. I forget. It. Right, I saved it. Okay, right. Right. So these are the things. Now we are going to discuss about your uh, refraction. Hope you already know what is refraction. Maybe you. Yes, I what is the refraction, ma? Bending of light. Bending, Bending of, light. of light. Any other thing, ma? Sathvik and Sanket? 
you are bending of light when uh, oh, medium when uh, it passes through another medium yes ma bending of light only so but it will try to travel from one medium to other medium one medium yes sir from medium yes ma good super so we'll discuss it so we'll try to understand with some small examples so when you say refraction refraction is nothing but your bending of light a small example just remember it now what i'm doing is i'm just taking a transparent glass a transparent glass glass lab glass lab super ma so it is a glass lab vignesh if you have any doubt just let me know that okay water oh, rarer medium denser medium yes, exactly yes, no sir optically rarer optically denser okay what is optically rarer optically denser why we are sir sir optically in optically rarer medium sir light can travel faster and it bends away from the normal whereas in optically denser medium light uh, light passes slowly and it uh, passes uh, and it comes towards the normal Sir, I don't know, sir. What's glass, sir? I understand. Don't worry. Wait, wait, wait. No, no. I'm just understanding, sir. Okay. Uh, okay. So you said the condition. Those are conditions in your rare and denser. What I'm asking is, what is a denser? Sir, which has the molecules packed, sir? Yeah, we packed. can do that. Solidly packed. Yes. Yes, ma. It's done, ma. and uh, it gone 10% okay what i'll do we'll stop here i'll send you the screenshots so today's work for you work for you uh, i'll send you a list of question papers ma only questions okay so you have to refer your textbook you have to answer it which relates to your lenses some basics what are the lenses which so are can we refer it and write it yeah fine it's a open book only mirror and as well as your lenses Okay. 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 Then, refraction. I won't use it because we have just started it. Okay. Sir, so, refraction also you add sir. Refraction is very... also there, right? Let me complete it. Tomorrow also we have class. Once you join tomorrow, okay. tomorrow uh, we have school at eight thirty, right? Yes, yes sir. sir. Every day. Sound today is fine because six thirty. I don't know what happened. Uh, it's got messy for me. Sound today is it fine, ma? Yes, okay. sir. Seven to eight. Tomorrow Sunday. Before morning. Okay. Yeah, morning. Morning. Here on what's morning only? Suppose if he misses morning, we'll have this session. That's it. I won't go beyond it. Okay. Right, ma'am. Okay. Good. So okay, ma'am. So I'll stop here because it is going to disconnect. Okay. We'll see next class. I'll send you the screen. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Have a nice. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.